Hey guys, it's Katie. Uh, I'm Aisha. And I'm Megan. And we are from The Bold Type on Freeform, and we are here with MTV News, and we are ready to dive in. How many people have you guys slept with? Uh, four. 28. Makes sense. Yours too. On the bold type, Sutton, Jane, and Kat take emergency meetings in the fashion closet and occasionally bathtubs. Where do you like to have private conversations? Hmm. I mean, we do hang out on on Aisha's, well, on Kat's bed, like the set that is supposed to be Kat's apartment. Sometimes between takes or scenes, we'll be in there yeah. under a blanket, like actually snuggling. Just watching YouTube videos. Yeah. yeah. But I would say, in my real life, either my bedroom or my car. Oh, your car. Oh, that's car. a good place. That's a really good place. good place. Yeah. Also, to be very basic, the bathroom. Mm. The bathroom is a great place a to party, just have especially. a quick powwow and be like, freaking out about this thing. Walking down the street. I know that sounds crazy, but like, I like to have conversations when I'm walking. I don't know, there's something about, yeah. It, like, on the phone. Yes. You know? Before the bold type, oh, I like this one. Before the bold type, which fictional group of friends did you most relate to and why? Friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like me and all my friends are like, are you a Monica? Are you a Chandler? Are you. I want to say Broad City for me. I really connect to that friendship. Broad City or, um, do you guys remember the Cheetah Girls? Yes. <laughs> yes. We... What was the theme song to Cheetah Girls? Probably, the lyrics were probably like, Cheetah Girls, that's probably it. Cheetah Girls, Cheetah Sister. <laughs> oh, man. I only remembered that part. Because they go to Rome, and I remember going to Rome with a couple of my friends. Do you remember that song that they had that was like, You got struck like you need it, free your mind. Oh, yeah. Richard or Alex? <laughs> Relics. Relics. <laughs> Richard. Richard. But I love Alex. Yeah. Just like in terms of. Are we talking about romantically or, or are we just supposed to pick a favorite? Because that's not fair. No, I think it's I think uh, it's, it's for it Sutton. To like, yeah. in, for Sutton? Yeah. I think it's Richard. She clearly loves him. When was the last time you advocated for yourself at work? It was actually the beginning of this season, inspired by Sutton. Uh, we were having a couple of issues on set, nothing crazy, everything's good. Um, but I did write uh, an email saying, you know, we need, um, you know, internet. <laughs> yeah. And snacks. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I was, uh, I was actually quite nervous to send that email and I'm really glad that I did. Because it all worked out. We got great snacks. Great, great snacks. The Bold Type follows three career-driven young women. At what moment did you know you wanted to be an actor and how did you pursue that dream? I didn't know I wanted to be an actor for a long time, even after I was working as an actor. I got into acting by way of singing in a musical, I was in a musical, and then um, that's how I started acting and I it took me like years actually to sort of take ownership of that and say, I'm an actor or, you know, like for so long I had always just been like, well, I'm, I, you know, I'm just like seeing what happens and like riding it out and whatever because I didn't really want to be held accountable for failing or being bad or any of those things. And then finally, it, I, still lie I was like, okay, in, in Uber. I'm actively doing this. Uber drives, you know, when they ask you what you do? Oh, you know, I always lie. I never tell strangers. <laughs> I knew I wanted to be, I mean, I always, knew I wanted to perform in some way, like doing musical theater and stuff, but I always thought that I would, I wanted to sing. Like I thought that was my first and foremost goal in life and I did American Idol and then afterwards got really discouraged and kind of found way of professionally acting through feeling like a failure in that. And then I booked MTV's Faking It. Hey, where are we? MTV. Oh, What's the craziest thing you've done for love? Um, hmm. I flew most recently, I flew to LA for like less than 24 hours for my boyfriend's birthday um, while we were in the middle of shooting. 
and that was pretty wild because we shoot a lot of hours. So. I I moved to another state. For your love. Mm -hmm. It's worked out. <gasps> Dang, you see that rock? Me too. Oh. <laughs> oh no, you know what I did for love recently? I flew my mom out here to see me. That's the person I love the most in the whole world. Mm. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what's in your breakup starter pack? Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Or ice cream, or but both. but in order to get the, I feel like I I can't be, you know, unrecognizable from eating all the tubs of ice cream if I'm trying to get back into the dating world. Yeah, I would say definitely some rosé, but also like I'm trying to think what show is perfect. Like for me, it was Doctor Who. Oh, nice. Doctor Who's a really big one because it's got you got a lot of episodes to watch, and it it's just it's not really about love. It's about a time traveler. If you don't know what right, Doctor Who is about, yeah, Google it. See, Change but I'm I'm different. I'm I if I am sad and need to cry, I I'm gonna watch. You something. really lean into it. I really lean into okay. it, and I like will watch The Notebook and all the oh, things because gosh. because. At, the, at that moment when I'm upset about a breakup, I no longer believe in love. <clears throat> so then I need to watch something that makes me. Believe in it again? Yeah. Okay, I feel that. Have you ever been fired from a job? If so, why? No. I don't think I have either. Mm. No, I was on, I used to work at Sprinkles Cupcakes and um, there was like some policy that if you were late at all, like even by five minutes, more than twice, you would get fired. And I was on my last leg. I was late by five minutes. That yeah. should not count. I would be fired manager, on the second day. The manager was so... <laughs> but the manager, so like I felt like it was like a little... But did you get fired? Power hungry, I did not. I wound up booking, faking it, and then being like, bye. And then it was funny because my co-star on Faking It, Greg, got a box of a dozen Sprinkles cupcakes on our first day of the pilot. And I was like, do you know which Sprinkles you got it from? And he said, The Grove. And that was where I worked. And I said, so funny. If I didn't book this, I would have been boxing those for you. That's really cool. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in to The Bold Type. When? Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on Freeform. Hey. Thank <laughs> you.